Uh, Amit, uh, welcome. Uh, you, uh, your project is here in the co-production market, yeah. and uh, we were there at the pitch uh, day before, and it sounds like an exciting, really exciting project. We got Dishyam backing you, um, and your first film was um, uh, Suleimani Kira, which did really well, and you kind of, you know, uh, had a great buzz around the film, and some forty odd thousand <coughs> uh, views or people watching the film on on TV at play. Um, could you talk about the difference between the two films? Obviously, uh, in terms of you know the production size and everything, it will be different. But uh, from doing a pure pure you know indie film, which apparently was done under ten lakhs, to now a, a fully funded project, uh, could you talk about the journey? See, all in all films you need to prepare. You know, in all films you need to uh, collect a team and inspire everyone to work on it and make sure that um, things are happening the way you are. You've written your script. So I don't think it is much different. The only difference here is that I have uh, people to do. Uh, what their you would have done different in the first films. Yeah, because in Suleimani Kida we had no makeup, no art director. Um, no costume designer. So all these things we took care of by myself, me and my assistant Omar. The two of us, we took care of it ourselves. It was a very small unit, and that film was also uh, quite manageable because uh, uh, there were not. We didn't have a big star, uh, cast. We didn't have too many locations. So the difference between this and that is basically that of production value. Right. So here I am shooting in a jungle. I need. Uh, a lot of actors and uh, I need work in the art department, costumes. So this is the only difference between these two. Otherwise it's all about story. You need, you need to have soul in the story. And, and uh, your first film uh, was apparently shot under uh, 10 lakhs. Uh, mm -hmm. Could you talk a bit about that and how did you manage to do that? Yeah, Suleimani Kida was shot under 10 lakhs, but it wasn't a 10 lakh rupee film. It was uh, worth around one and a half crores when we did the budget. But uh, we uh, wanted independence, you know, like we wanted to shoot it the way we wanted to shoot it with the people whom we had in mind. So, which is why we decided to cut down on costs. And the way we cut down on costs is not using uh, a big camera, using a small SLR camera, not using lights. And uh, people were kind enough to work for free. I don't see any romance in uh, making a low-budget film because it just means that you've exploited a lot of your friendships. So um, I feel that uh, um, as long as uh, people are getting to um, explore their talent, like their what they want to do in the film, it's fine. You know? And that's what we did with Suleiman Kira. None of like the, the actors were not professional actors. Naveen and Mayank. Now Naveen has become a professional actor. So we all we were all exploring. We were having fun. So, Right, and and now you've got the shim backing uh, Newton. Mm. Um, could you talk about how that happened and how they came on board? Yeah, so uh, uh, Shiladitya Bora, who was uh, uh, a distributor on uh, Suleimani Kida, he introduced me to Manish Mundra because he joined Manish. Manish's company Drisham right. as the CEO and Shiladitya believed in this script and uh, Manish liked it when I narrated uh, the pitch to him and within uh, three or four days Manish decided to put money and I was signed on to direct the film so it was quite a quick process right and uh, at what stage of the film like you started uh, pre-production you I had written, finished yeah I had written the script in 2013 but then uh, after uh, uh, Drisham came on board uh, they signed my friend Mayank Tiwari who's acted in Suleimani Kida as a co-writer and we uh, developed the final draft uh, right now uh, we have been done with the location recce and we are uh, going to go on floor early next year. Right, and and uh, how was the experience of pitching uh, at, at the uh, co-production uh, pitching session day before? Because I, I'm assuming this is the first time you've done this kind of a yeah. pitch in front of a room full of uh, people. Yeah, I've, I've never, uh, I had never been at the co-production market before. So I was at Film Bazaar uh, uh, in uh, the. Um, Film Bazaar recommendation at viewing room with, with, Suleimani with my previous film Suleimani Kira. So this was my first experience uh, pitching, at, and 
I had fun pitching it. I just spoke about the film, and then I spoke to whoever came and asked me about it. I would explain to them what I want to do. So we we were here looking. We are looking for uh, sales international sales agents. So we are focusing on that. Right, and uh, you're also looking for international uh, producers, or is this going to be fully funded by? See, see these uh, questions are best answered by Shila Ditya. You know, so uh, <coughs> I'm actually in the middle of my pre-production. So I'm just here for three days. I'm just having fun. Right, right, and you've got. Could you talk a bit about uh, what the film is about? Um, I'm actually not supposed to talk about uh, Newton right now because uh, we are going on floor very soon. So um, let me finish it and then we can have a detailed talk. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, thank, thank you, so which much. was uh, a bit lovely talking to you. Thank you so much. Yeah.